it's a lot for me too because like i have to like present myself i have to put myself you know how you say like whenever you got up on that stage you were anubis you weren't aljamar dog yeah. you were anubis and then i how i like to say like my last episode i said you know sometimes i feel like nick but whenever i'm behind the microphone or i'm behind the controller i'm motherfucking nicky J. So, oh God. as as corny as it sounds, bro, people been wanting to see you. Really? No, I got people that want to know who you were, at least from my Snapchat, and you know, like know about like what, like what show did I go to, and like who who who's the next like you know whatever. And I've been saying, you know who Anubis is, and I've been sending them tracks. Oh, I've been man. sharing your shit. God, thanks, dude. I appreciate it. So like, so like everyone, you know, I think right now. We're gonna give a proper introduction. My name is Nikki J. Welcome to the Nikki J. Cast. This is uh, not only the one and only Anubis, but my good friend Algie. What's up? What's good? So, uh, dog, like I was saying, that show. How did it feel? Let me fir- first fucking ask, because obviously uh, you're on the fucking you're on you're on a roll right now. After that show, I already seen you got two other shows coming up, right? Yeah, man. So um, I'm playing in Corpus Christi next month. So I'm pretty excited about that. Kind of nervous. Um, it's technically my second show. Um, and it's my first out of city show. So for our second show, I mean, it's kind of kind of cool. Mm-hmm. Um, and then I have one currently in the works. Um, it might get postponed, but I'm not really tripping about it. The recognition is really more means more to me than just basically playing at this point because i'm mean, mm-hmm. just starting out and then having people like mention my name and like my friends mention my name to like promoters and stuff i mean that's just really the recognition itself is really more gratifying than just playing at this point oh no of course you know we fucking just to let you know like we like to use a lot of fucking the same words here so like recognition and everything like that this is like necessarily like i'm i mainly brought you here because one i fuck with you mm-hmm. uh two uh, I fuck with you. And three, I also fuck with you. And also, <laughs> what you're trying to do is, like, I see you're trying to be something more than just fucking Algemar. So, and what I'm trying to make my platform is, is just necessarily a voice for people to, like, let their shit be heard, you know? And yeah. so, after seeing your show, I was like, dude, this guy fucking, like, he's got a fucking whole ass manager and shit. Like, I probably should have <laughs> asked, like, yeah, I probably should have asked about your manager or something like that to see if you could do this like the proper way. But since I know you, yeah, I was no. like, I was like, hey, bro, come through. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, like the whole manager aspect, like um, she's really just helping me get my foot in the door. Because um, I mean, obviously, like I'm not like some super big artist, so I mean, she really she's no. just helping me, basically, kind of networking. But I mean, she, she does an amazing job, um, and she's working. She does a lot of a lot of work behind the scenes for a lot of people in this scene already. Oh, okay. Uh, so huge shout out to Myra, by the way. Okay. Um, but yeah, I mean, that's really all it is. Um, no, still same old more. <laughs> <laughs> no, of course, of course, dog. I mean, I think I don't know if you watch any of my other other fucking episodes but like like we have a big talk about like creatives like in this space you know Mm -hmm. and what you did you know your mix in itself i'll throw some clips up there but um was creative and so like like i said like what i want to try to do is is try to push at least people that i know you know that can go that have the potential you know and Mm -hmm. Once I saw that, I just fucking knew. I was like, yo, gotta fucking get him on the show. Gotta get him on the fucking show. And even though my show is kind of small, I'm feeling the ball rolling for myself, too. So, Oh, man. All it takes is that one that one video, man. Mm-hmm. I mean, I gotta do this show. Basically, just consistency is really... That's all your biggest thing, man. I know, yeah. And you, and you being here really fucking helps me out. So, <laughs> I appreciate that. Of Fuck, course, I, man. I fucking forgot. I, I'm, I'm still new to this. So mind you, like right now, I fucking forgot to start a timer. And I fucking suck, dude. I did that shit the last time, dog. It's all good, man. I ain't kidding. <sighs> fuck. But hey, fuck. So essentially, I guess the big thing I want to talk about though is like our how we became, you know, friends. More so, aside from like the music and everything. Like, um, obviously, we went to school. We grew up with each other and shit like that, but. I want to be honest, you know, both of our backgrounds, like, 
and you and I both know this. Like when we talk about music, like we like all around, like every type of music. It don't fucking matter, you know. And obviously for me, like, like going to your concert, like I necessarily wasn't more so of that background base, but like that music was fucking hitting. Like I knew whenever it was good. Like, Thanks, man. I so that. like, I guess what I'm trying to say is, is that like, like you remember. You remember fucking, because I remember clearly, we were in some history class, you and I, and it was like freshman year. I think we had a freshman like history class. I can't remember what it was, but you showed Coach me. Del- was it was it Coach Delaney? I don't think so. No, no. Okay. Is, um, did you have Coach Wilkinson? No, sir. No. I think was it Coach Bernie? No. Science? Biology? Okay. No. We had fucking some class. Or or you got either either you probably just came through or some shit like that. But I remember no, it may have been way before that. We were at your pool actually and you showed me bones. And you actually <laughs> put me on to fucking bones and the whole Sesh Hollow Hollow Squad Water Boys. And yeah. and ever since that, like I kinda like really truly learned like, oh shit, there's this this is the real fucking underground, like the, here's the next level. And so that's whenever, like, my fucking whole, like, psh, like knowledge of the music industry, like, started just over, like, I started learning more, like, like, oh, this is this guy, this is this guy, and how it's all, like, connected, mm-hmm. you know? So, like, how, I guess, what fucking, obviously, what do you say your, your big music background is? You say you're, you're real rhythm based now, or, or obviously, or are you, uh, like, hip hop? Like, by... so. DJing wise or like just in general like my everyday music every day every day oh man <clears throat> so i mean i listen to a, like obviously i listen to a lot of edm like a lot of edm music throughout the day um so I work, like i work my 9 30 to 6 6 o'clock shift every day and i'll have my airpods in so usually i'll just like with with soundcloud soundcloud is a really good really good music source their algorithm basically you might, and people <laughs> people people might have already noticed it or you might have already noticed it. if you search up a song on soundcloud and just let it play um, it plays the next related song or a song related to that song. So I mean, like with EDM music, based off of their their algorithm, it's really easy to find music, um, and that's how you get deeper really into the underground with oh. rap too. Is like, that scene rap, really big? Sorry, I hate to cut you off, but like, is that scene like like really that big? Like in in the SoundCloud? Like, yeah, there's yeah, because everybody because you have there's there's like the three four main really bass genres. And then there's like subgenres of each individual one. So there's like different realms where you can go to. Can like I cut you Indian. off? Yeah, go for it. So, so in this aspect, are you creating the wubs or are you mixing the wubs? Ah. <laughs> I'm, mi- I'm dead. Um, I am currently mixing. I'm in the works um, over learning how to produce right now. It's. Um, it's a very strenuous and headache process. Shout oh. out my boy Justin, who's been helping me as well. Okay. Um, but I've been I've been producing, um, trying to get basics down. Um, I've tried I tried Ableton or Ableton, how people say it. Mm-hmm. I say Ableton. I tried that. I didn't really like the interface too much of it, so I'm gonna switch over to Fruity Loops because my um, I actually my dad my one of my dad's friends has a has it, so he gave it to me. Fruity Loops. So I've been working on Fruity Loops. So I've been trying to get producing down before at the moment i'm really just djing playing my friends tracks um mm-hmm. i play a lot of my friends tracks shout out destroyer uh, my friend pat um obviously jexel and like a bunch of my like other dj friends they give me a lot of help and support um starting out they kind of mentored um, you like like i was saying you know when i told you like on the side like i remember seeing the growth like like you just getting into the scene going to the concerts and then now you're yeah, talking man, to i mean like like you've you've known me for a while, and I, I I like I really just have appreciation for music besides uh-huh. country music. Sorry, sorry about that, but <laughs> I mean um, it is what it is. So, yeah. I mean, so I mean, really, um, I just started getting into like like raving, um, and basically I just like the the energy the music gave you. Like you, you could, exactly. if, you, if you've been to a rave, you know the energy level is like what makes the songs. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'd always watch my friend Danny, my friend um, my friend Chris, Andreas, I agree. Destroyer. Uh-huh. Um, I'd watch all, all my friends play, and I would just soak up like what they would um what they would do and like a year ago when i lived with dorian um there was an app called pacemaker and you can make mixes on your phone so i used to make mixes like little baby mixes on my phone and then make them with fonzo 
and then eventually um, Ashley got him a controller for his uh, for Valentine's Day last year. And whenever we got ice stormed in, mm -hmm. I was like, okay, <clears throat> let's try and let's try and DJ. And so a year ago, I started DJing and I just kept going. Bro, um, I'm fucking ignorant. Hold up, real quick. I gotta show you something. Mm -hmm. I have this fucking tool, right? And I don't know how to fucking use it, right? <laughs> what is that? It's, oh. a, it's a MPK Mini. <coughs> and, and like, and I, the homeboy just, actually, shout out to fucking the last guy that was on the podcast. Sh shout out Soda Jock. He fucking gave me that. And he's like, you fucking want it? Here you go, bro. I was like, because after seeing, after coming to a few of your kickbacks, I was like, bro, I, I want to make songs. Like, I really want to fucking make songs, but I don't know the right equipment. Yeah. Like, obviously, that ain't the right equipment. But, like, like, I remember, like, growing up, having the little fucking app on my phone and shit, doing the fucking <laughs> slight mixes and yeah. shit, turntables mm -hmm. type shit. But, um, no, yeah, because of, like, my fucking vast fucking like arsenal of music and probably just like yours too we fucking mm -hmm. like like you did the night whenever it was like new year's that fucking mix bro like all the fucking songs were <laughs> pitch perfect every fucking one and yeah. i think there's something too to like djing and creating a playlist and, and like setting a mood you know there's a big thing behind like obviously like you said like that edm like the energy that you that you just get from mm -hmm. like the fucking crowd and the music that it that 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 energy like you know gives you <clears throat> it's so fucking corny the, the <laughs> energy the energy word type shit but like that's a real type business though, I, mean, that's that, what it is. I mean that's what it is yeah it's it's like like it's what gets people away from like the fucking harsh fucking realities of like fucking their nine to five job whatever it fucking may be you know yeah, and that's that's really like where a lot of the raving scene like comes from like a lot of people will say it's like a gateway or like an escape or from like their everyday life um like festivals and shit mm -hmm. um i mean i don't really get into that aspect of it that much um but that's a, that's where a lot of it comes from because i mean it's really <coughs> like i don't know a lot of people you can you can express yourself through music a lot um with like any with any genre so i really just feel like that's what it is and people just like that feeling no yeah yeah i mean i feel like Oh, trust me. There's tons of, like, I don't, I don't want to fucking sound like I'm yanking my chain or anything, but I got like <laughs> tons of fucking like young or like up and coming, like at least people from this area, like I said, like trying to be artists, you know, and like, mm -hmm. hey, bro, like, get me on the pod, hey, yo, man, yo, da 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 da, -da. <laughs> and I'm like, I feel you, dog, and I feel you. It's, it's like the music is always just like they, they just want to be heard, you know, and shit like that, and that's like mainly what I'm trying to do here but it's like one at a time obviously so but uh like I said I don't want to fucking I ain't trying to break myself up you know so <laughs> but no um tell me so let's just let's just chat let's just chat bro tell me uh tell me your most favorite fucking hip hop uh show you've ever been to or rap show favorite rap show i've ever been to yeah um i would say probably flatbush zombie house of blues in okay. 2019 2019 2018 it was for their vacation and hell tour okay um i went with friday i went with friday okay um that, that, and i got i was basically like by the rail that shit was live they're really good performers they're really good performers second i would probably say is a toss-up between ASAP Ferg's show um, for uh, Always Driving. It's the one with the red covering he has a do-rag on. Well, his, oh, that was work. Always Driving Prosper. Yeah, yeah, that one. Uh, well, I went I went with that one, and he brought... I went that one with Dorian, and then Wise ended up coming last minute. Funny, funny, that story. Um, but he, he, had, he had Denzel Curry on the lineup, and uh, Jay, I don't know. Denzel Curry was fucking fired. Oh, oh God! That's it's the one that you also put me on to. Is is Denzel? Is yeah, Denzel. Denzel was fucking. That was my first time seeing him live. It was on my bucket list, and I. Um, so that one just for Denzel Curry, and then or um, House of Blues. Whenever I saw uh, Sesh Hollow Water Boys in 2015. Mm -hmm. um, mm -hmm. Dude, whenever, 
yeah, whenever the venue, the, they sold over capacity. Um, so they like changed the venue last minute. Everybody was like running off deep, running in deep Ellum um, to the other venue. That's so, crazy. Yeah, that shit was funny. Um, the f- <clears throat> the fucking uh, Denzel Curry. That's that's what I was gonna say. The Denzel Curry shit. So you were way on Raider Clan before I fucking was then. <laughs> yeah, was, man. So did you know about? Technically, you probably knew about X before I did. Then, I don't know. Um, yeah, I knew of him. I didn't really listen to his music that much. Um, I thought he sounded a lot like Denzel Curry and um, Nell. So I mm. can never. Sometimes, sometimes I would never like. I would never tell the change in some artist. So I would think yeah, of the yeah. same person. Like when their song. Um, their song was it Space Ghost Pussy? Yes, but the where they're, this... where, where they're dissing all of them. Yeah, yeah. Um, for the longest, like whenever that song first came out, I didn't even know like X was on the song. Like I saw mm-hmm. the name, I saw the name on the on the the tag, like, the name tag, but I never yeah, knew yeah. like when when his part came on. I think and that so shit. Started, yeah, I think it was. Up. I think it was added like later on. No, you're good. Yeah. I think it was added like later on that like oh it's him and like you listen to it and it's like oh holy shit yeah that is him yeah it makes sense and it does sound like Denzel at sometimes and I think what's also so great is that like he also took from Denzel you know it's like damn I think we we forget about like a lot of these like top tier artists and like they just go in the dark but whenever they come out they like fucking drop fire cause like when the fuck was Denzel's last album was that Ricky that wasn't Ricky I think it was Ricky cause like yeah, pe- people got to put some motherfucking respect on Denzel Curry's name. Yeah, Denzel's really Denzel's a really good. He has a really good, um, really good, uh, out, really good albums and mixtapes. Like, oh, his 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 EP with Kenny Beats, the little um, yeah, yeah. the vi- the video movie they did for the the album on YouTube mm-hmm. that was fired. That was mm-hmm. fired. I haven't watched that yet. I have to fucking. I recommend we'll, it. I we'll have to fucking pay that, bro. Do you fucking? I feel like you and I, like, like alongside, like, the music, like, our tastes, like, align in, like, so many other things, like, but not fully to a T, like, like, obviously, bro, the fucking, the fucking Naruto shit, do you ever fucking be watching the AMVs and shit, just sitting there fucking toasted as hell, and just watching, like, you know, you know which one I'm talking about, the fucking... Suicide Boys one versus that, the, that yeah. one, bro. It's insane. It blows my mind how fucking the marriage of like music and like like video and shit like that. And whenever the going back to the rhythm and the DJing aspect, I fuck with the visuals like behind like that big ass screen. Whenever we were at the yard, bro, yeah. you gotta be getting like some fucking big ass AMV fighting type shit. I haven't That's listened what, to your mix yet. You said you had a nice like Naruto opening, but you know. Yeah, um, I actually just um, dropped the mix officially. Well, not I just dropped it today. Um, shout out Sick Music Records. Uh, I'll, put, I'll, put all, I'll put it it's, all in yeah, the description for you. I got you. But it's a, it's a it's a like a, a smaller collective company around um, like in Dallas. So they asked me to do a mix, um, and I just it was due for March first, so I just got it out. Um, they did some. They did a really good job on the artwork, but um, yeah, it was twenty five minute mix, and that's what I've been working on. I have another one. I have another mix coming out March sixteenth. Um, okay. I'm really looking forward to that one. That's one of my probably my best my best Ooh. mix that I've done um, besides like a set. But yeah. Damn. So just more fucking mixes though to come. But you said you were gonna get into the producing of making the fucking what, right? Correct. I, I, I mean, hate. I'm sorry how stupid that sounded, though. That sounded probably so dumb. But like, I'm trying to still like understand as we're going on, though. Like, um, because I'll fucking I have to be that guy. The fucking <laughs> most I've the most I've fucking ever like dipped my hand into like electronic and music and shit really? like that. Well, it was like golden age shit. Yeah. But obviously, yeah. as time went on, it evolved. I remember after dubstep, it became like a real heavy like trap, like trap yeah. was like real fucking deep. And then it was the biggest thing, you know, like a subgenre from like dubstep slash EDM, 
you know and then I started getting into like I was like oh shit there's drum and bass oh shit there's fucking um yeah, there's rhythm there's uh electronica there's house there's there's different you know sub genres you know like too many you know so so like I guess what I'm trying to say is like, yeah, like help my dumbass brain like understand, or help help a simpleton understand, you know, the subgenre of rhythm. Um, so rhythm rhythm is basically like a lot of people don't like it because it sounds really repetitive. It's the same key um, and the same beat pattern throughout the song. Um, it's really like bouncy at times, but um, there's a drop. Rhythm is just yeah, rhythm is just basically a bunch of like a repetitive repetitive beat and like a repetitive like clap and snare just to make it sound in english to like a regular a regular ass person i heard it and it wasn't bad like yeah it, it still sounded even like those elements sorry to cut you off but uh those yeah. elements still fucking like i felt like i heard those like in past songs like you know mm-hmm. like old dubstep or whatever fucking trap songs at least yeah. a sense of rhythm but i see what you're saying about uh you know the repetitiveness of a clap so same people yeah. don't like that yeah a lot of people i don't know a lot of people i mean it's it's really it, with any subgenre is going to be always people that don't like it like with like future rhythm people don't like it uh, with like experimental bass people don't like it they say it's boring uh, with like rhythm they say it's too repetitive or the same beat or like the same they call it simple simple music i guess sometimes is the best word to say um but i mean i don't know i like it because it's it's, it's it's really fun energy and like whenever the crowd whenever you get like a whole like as corny as it sounds like a whole rhythm crowd then like they actually appreciate it then it's basically basically the crowd you the mm-hmm. crowd you're with mm-hmm. is how it is but i don't know i like it i like i really like all house except i mean i'm not all house um mm-hmm. most genres of edm um the only one i'm trying to get onto is hard style um, mm-hmm. that's, just really, <laughs> that's just really that's just really fucking fast i went to ubby um and so you saw it wasn't hard style, but it was Valentino Connie. He was playing somehow hard style, I and I almost, style. Fucking, I almost had a heart attack. Um, so I mean, I'm still working on it, but that's the only like really genre I don't really listen to like that. But bro, fucking. So you say you're trying to get into hard style? I mean, like I'm not trying to, but I'm trying to like. You're trying to acquire the taste, I guess. Yeah, yeah. It's because I'm not right now. I'm not feeling it. But I know. no, no, no disrespect to hard style. Though. Oh no, I won't lie, but like, <laughs> I can't. Well, I'm obviously not every fucking hard style song is gonna hit. There's a there's a few. I know I, I know for a fact I, I've stumbled across a, a few hard style songs in the past. I can't tell you what. Mm-hmm. But um but yeah, I'm a real big fucking drum and bass guy. I fuck with drum and bass like heavily. I just, I don't yeah, know about I, that. I do like um I actually just recently started listening to drum and bass. Um like a few months ago actually and it's, it's like it's actually growing on me i like it a lot it makes me feel like i'm in a video game um <laughs> it's a pace I mean, I really, yeah i really like i really like it it's it's definitely yeah it's definitely growing on me um other than fucking you know that scene like i feel like other spaces that we're active on and like a common theme that i have here on this this fucking channel is that we talk about twitter a lot and we'd be on Twitter fucking too much. We'd be Twitter demons, you and I. Back but, in the day. But, Shit's um... Still. The fucking... How... How does it feel... Like, trying to... Like, are you trying to essentially push yourself as a brand, as Anubis, right? Yeah. Uh, you talking about, like, on my socials? Yeah. <clears throat> not really uh, it don't matter because like like trust me no, i've had no, this conversation you. with myself i'm not trying to put you on the spot yeah no, but you're like fine. um it's it's that's a funny that's a funny thing to i'm, I'm still trying to figure that out um because a part of me a part of me wants to like make a new twitter or like you know i have my private uh make my private to my personal but um i don't know i'm still trying to figure out if i want to like make a new yeah. profile for my for my djing shit because i know like on my twitter my snapchat my instagram i don't really have like i'm still it's more it's still majority like people i grew up with oh no from, yeah like, elementary school middle school so like a lot of them some of them don't listen to EDM music like that and i don't want to like constantly push that on no, my of course on my shit. so i don't know i might i might it could be like me twitter handle 
for my for my DJing shit if I get like bigger. Um, but at the moment, I'll, I'll probably just keep it on both, and then mm. just like on my snap, like on my Snapchat, how I have my yeah, private yeah. Twitter. Um, I'm mean, not private Twitter, my private snap for like EDM shit. I'll probably just keep it as that, and then if I get bigger, um, then I might just consider making a new profile. No, like, yeah, like, yeah, the fucking the real like I've had this discussion with myself because obviously like, well, I mean. I've I've done that in the past. I don't know if you've seen it, but like I I had the separate Twitter account like for the Nicky J brand. Like I had the separate, you know, YouTube account mm-hmm. where I would literally just put shit out there. But there was a point like where I thought to myself, I was like, all right, well, I want myself to be like you know genuine and come off genuine. Like not only is this Nicky J, but this is like myself. Like I'll put this out there to like obviously like my Twitter followers and. You know, if they fuck with it, they fuck with it. If they don't, they don't. Like, you know, at some point, like, there was a switch in me that was like, yeah, obviously, like like you said, you don't want to push the rhythm shit too much where, where people get annoyed or some shit like that. But I don't want to push the YouTube shit so much where it obviously be, like, cringy or some shit like that. And so, like, there's yeah. times where I got to, like, you know, just lay low, you know, and then push it out. But also, there's a genuine, like, feeling whenever I put it out and then, like, people are like, like yeah, I'll, fu- I'll fuck with it. And then, like, there's actual people that... I see in day-to-day life, like you said, like we grew up, like most of our social media is like people we grew up with type yeah. shit. And, and all the time they're like, oh shit, that's Nikki J. And then, and then I'm just like, stop it, you gassing me up. <coughs> <laughs> but no, the there ain't no, there ain't no real, I'm not judging you. What I'm trying to say is like, I, like it's don't even fucking like worry worry about it you know i think you should just kind of like let it be let it be genuine you know and and then like just let it all fucking fall to place like it like it has been you know yeah that's exactly how i'm taking it but i mean fuck fam i mean so biggest fucking inspiration in rhythm tell me right now in rhythm yeah. Um, well, so I, I DJ rhythm and then I, I DJ heavy dubstep, mm. like heavier, like tear out is the, like the subgenre for it. Okay. Um, my inspiration really came from Murata, um, which if any of my EDM friends, like my listening to EDM music, they know like Murata is my, it's literally in my bio. Mm-hmm. Um, <clears throat> but he was probably like my inspiration and like, with like how I want my sound to be. Um, and I know okay. like in the scene a lot of people are like trying to mimic that that same like tear out sound design that he yeah. has um but like my music my my mixes they're all really heavier because because of him because he's, he's really the first artist i actually like got into okay um, whenever i got into edm because I, I haven't i didn't start getting into edm until like again until 2019 so how was how did that uh shit well then tell me how that start i guess let's just go back if you don't mind me asking how did that start yeah, um so really my first time listening was in 2016 um no 20 not 2016 i think like 2012 2013 back in like middle school soccer day seventh eighth grade um i was listening to a lot of house music that was whenever like skrill legs dead mouse night yeah, party yeah. uh flux pavilion yeah, yeah, um, all, all of them were like first coming around mm-hmm. um so i was really i was really getting into that around then okay um, still. Now we went to south padre with Doria, Marcus, Michael, and all them, um, and they went to UME, which is like a really big festival. Um, so me and Ryan went. Me and Ryan uh, Franklin, we decided to go the last day, and we had no idea what was going on. Um, so we went. I mean, it was cool. I don't really remember much. Um, I, was really, <laughs> I, I got drunk. Um, but after that, I didn't really like listen to any EDM music. After like once I got into high school, I was really I was, whenever I hit my like my bones, my Buddhist mm-hmm. Buddhist noobs. <laughs> Um, Buddha whenever, I had, fucking whenever I had that, whenever I had that phase, because you can ask Dorian to all listen to. Um, so I really got out of that, and then I didn't start listening to EDM music again um, until 2019, um, and that's really how I got back into it. And then, yeah. Can you ever? Uh, my, I like to say this. My brain, my brain's real fucked up. My brain is sick. I go back, and obviously, like. I have the SoundCloud still. I have the SoundCloud app. But anytime I open it, I just know there's songs that I liked from back in 2016, you know, 14, 15, around that era. 
and anytime I listen to him, like it's an immediate like just like like flashback to like that, that time. For me personally, it is like I just think of like, and that's not only just in the SoundCloud. Like whenever I go into there, uh, like that happens to like my Spotify now because it goes in chronological order. I can go all the way to the beginning, you know, and I'll, I'll go. All right, which song did I like here? And then all the way up to the top, and I'll be like, oh, this is what I was. I was going through this this day. I was going through this this day, this day. I, I remember what I was doing this, you know. Do you ever fucking get that? Like, do you ever, like, like whenever yeah. you listen to, like, old songs? I guess old songs like that, do they ever bring you back to yeah, the time was, and shit? Dude, there's so, there's so many times I'll be in, like, PS4 parties and, like, um, Fonzo will say some dumb shit or, like, will, like, quote Buddha Stoops. Oh. Like, I still have... <laughs> I still have I still have like their fucking some of their mixtapes like in my on like on my playlist like I'll oh hear my it gosh. um and I'm like damn what a fucking time Cause like like I'm not gonna lie I'm not gonna lie some of their some of not their many people, people like, know let me just say that it's not, not many it's not bad dude like it still it still gets some some rotation like to this day mm-hmm. so, like, I'll give it I'll give it that um but I mean yeah like I'll have I'll listen to that I'll listen to like old ass like xavier wolf xavier wolf songs oh, yeah. or like spooky black yeah, on yeah. soundcloud deep in the archives and i was like damn like i know where i exactly was you get like memories you thought like you didn't you didn't even remember like they, uh-huh. like they just back of your head to like damn i remember this where i was yeah i remember i was going to school school during this time or whatever because like there's a like when i opened my soundcloud i was like oh man this is like i was about to go into college type shit you know or or we're in high school mm-hmm. coming out of high school type shit and and then after that, you know, I remember there. Do, I was doing a real jump. Um, I guess let, let me ask you this now. Okay, so what do you use now for your your music? You, you um, like just everyday music? Yeah, like do you Apple or you Spotify? What? Uh, I'm not gonna lie. I use Apple. Um, I will. I, I will say I like Spotify's interface better. Um, I just I'm too lazy to transfer my music over from Apple to Spotify. That's why I still have Apple Music. Yeah, yeah. But I'm, Apple Music and SoundCloud. I'm still I'm really deep on SoundCloud still. No, yeah. Uh, it's a uh, there was a time where I fucking like I was I was hanging out with fucking Jacob and Jacob was like, bro, you gotta fucking you gotta get Spotify, man. And I, and I was just <laughs> using uh, SoundCloud Go because I was paying for SoundCloud because I could listen to whatever the fuck I wanted, no ads. Um, even like like full real songs if they like by like like label based artists you know and shit like that so I was paying for SoundCloud so I was like no man I don't need to fucking get Spotify or whatever <clears throat> and he's like do a do a two month of Spotify and then do a two month of Apple Music and I was like all right let me just give it a shot and he says see which one you like more and I've stuck with Spotify ever since <clears throat> I did Apple Music first and I literally like that transferring of music like it just kind of like happened over time like for me like because i just fucking i liked a few songs there and then i just went from radio to radio to radio and then i went like a little bit more searching and then what would really piss me off though is like a spotify like really doesn't get that many chief keef tracks like i'll be honest with you yeah. like it I'm pisses good. me off because apple music got them all the time and it really? was like yeah like because i was like dude i'm want to hear the new fucking Chief Keef album but it fucking it, he doesn't have I guess it's some label bullshit you know probably rights and shit <clears throat> but no um there's no knock on on Apple on Apple music I guess like I was mainly just fucking asking cause like you know there's that whole big debate you know this side or this side you mm-hmm. know is it you know PS4 is it PS4 is it Xbox is it whatever is it whatever <clears throat> but uh no uh yeah man I I think uh I think there's a big there's a big reason behind like you know like fucking there's a bigger thing behind like like music more bigger t- to shit cause like uh like what we do to our day to day lives like like it's just like it feels mundane like like I don't know about you, but like it feels mundane to me at least. And like those moments that we get to ex- experience our craft and like you know push out and like you did that night with the crowd, like whenever I get to upload a video, like mm-hmm. that just feels like when we're at our real peak, like like as who we are, 
you know? Mm-hmm. Yeah, because there's general interest. Like it's one of your passion. It's a passion you have, and getting that like extra gratification out of like your passions is like makes you feel like it's those moments that make you feel like kind of breaks the repetitive cycle that you feel in life and shit. Mm-hmm. Do you do you expect to keep going like with this passion? Like like how like how much you you how are you I, feeling about I mean, it? Not to put you on so. the spot. No, no, you're good. You can ask. Feel free to ask any question <laughs> you want. Um, I mean, honestly, man, like I'm, I see it as it's a side hobby that I have. Like I, I like, I love music I and I love it. like DJing is fun. Like I'm actually interested in it. So I mean, if I'm able, if I'm able to like, play in front of like actual people, and like and they appreciate it, then I mean, yeah, I'll keep doing it. Um, I'm just, but really, I'm just like, I'm doing it for like that or like the actual like enjoyment of of the music, and playing more than like the money because i mean a lot of people oh, make no, a big yeah. deal about like the whole like booking booking fees and playing for free like i mean like yeah obviously i'm starting out so i'm not finna like be like hey i need this this much per hour no, i mean no, like yeah. i feel like a lot of people get too consumed by that and they lose like the actual reason why they're djing um or would you dj weddings like, huh would you dj weddings yeah i can dj weddings i mean i can i can play um I was actually um, one of my friends. One of my dad's friends asked me to DJ at a at a club in Dallas. Um, just like regular shit, did. just like mix. Yeah. yeah, but I mean, I don't know. It's like I don't know. I'm really bad. Like I'm really awkward in like social gatherings. Oh no, like I, I feel you. I feel you. That's all right. That's all right. I mean, but like for me personally, I'd be like, oh my god, bro, that's crazy. Just like a rant. Just. Your dad's friend, the club owner, happens to be like, "Hey, I see what you're doing," you know. It's just crazy how the world works. He's just like, "Hey, come, come play for us sometime," you know, man. I yeah, think it's in, uh, it's in Deep Elms. I forgot the fucking name. It's like it's like a it's like an Irish sounding name, kind of. Um, but yeah, I mean, he asked me because he saw my DJing stuff and like he's looking for like DJs for his club. And I pl- I met him through basically like playing flag football with my dad on mm. like Sundays and like he was mm. on our flag football team and like he had to see. It on a club and like as i tried to like mixing more he would ask me um so yeah i mean i might do it but just that whole driving driving to dallas and then oh no play, like oh. all night um because i consider moving to dallas but i don't know like that's, a, that's still it's big it's big you yeah. know big steps it's it's nice over here in this little area we are we won't have to disclose where but like this area is nice <laughs> especially with like traffic like you said fucking dallas man it's crazy. Yeah, literally. I can't, you know, it's, I don't know if you've seen, but like in the last one, I, I, I kind of announced like hopefully by the end of this up and coming month, I plan to move out of Texas yep. and, uh, you know, I can tell you I'm moving to Michigan and where mm-hmm. they're going to, where there's going to be fucking ice and snow all the fucking time whenever it's cold. And I just think back to what we had, like, what was it? Two weeks ago that we had ice or whatever. Yeah everything like shut down everything shut down in texas Mm -hmm. and then i just think about like moving up there and being like the world's still fucking going up here i have to still go to fucking work i guess in the fucking cold but like you know that's (laughs) that that'll it it is what it is at that point is what i'm saying but it just kind of blows my mind how how it's so different here how we never because we've had snow before you know what i'm fucking saying like there ain't no way like like I didn't lose power that one year. Did you lose power? No, no sir. No, you re- you remember that big ass grid failure and everyone just being like, "Yo, oh, what the fuck?" You know, type shit. Why aren't we prepared? Type shit. Yeah, every yeah every we were we were actually drinking at my apartment at our apartment. Oh, I remember seeing those. Yeah. Yeah, and all that. So we were fine. I mean, I still had to fucking work, but I told them my power was out. Uh, I'm not disclosing where I work at, but. Oh no, you ain't gotta. You ain't gotta say. <laughs> No, uh, I think, I think it's just fucking, I don't know, I think it's just interesting how, how different Texas is, because, uh, I don't know if you've ever been to Michigan, but, like, you should actually fucking, like, take a trip with me one day if you're ever down, like, to Michigan, because Michigan's actually a great place in the summer, because they got fucking mm-hmm. still clean-ass lakes up there, other, like, other than fucking Flint, don't go to Flint. <laughs> Dirty ass wow. Flint. Yeah, I'm, I mean, I've, I don't, uh, I've actually considered going to Michigan. Well, Wisconsin more so, but um, yeah, like I want to go to Alaska. Alaska seems pretty cool. To go Alaska. To. Alaska. I like the cold, but I don't like windy cold. Windy cold. 
Yeah. I mean, I mean, uh, you say a fucking Alaska dude? Yeah, because they have the the time periods where it's like just nothing but sunlight, nothing but darkness. I want to see that. And Ooh. then like the the uh, auroras. Oh yeah, the yeah, northern the lights. lights. I want to see that. Yeah, I want to see those. Oh, that's fire. No, yeah, I agree. Uh, dude, <laughs> I can't imagine. I mean, that's colder than fucking Michigan, though, is what I'm, what is what I'm getting at. Like, yeah. that shit is like, what is that? That's below 20, possibly. Very cold, yeah, it's very cold. I mean, <laughs> at, at least in Michigan, they, they they tell me, like, yeah, we got, like, minus, minus 5, minus 10, like, weather here, like, normally. And that's just been in the past, like, couple weeks. Mm-hmm. And, and I said, I just hate how fucking hot it is over here. It's always yeah. fucking hot to me. Like it's blistering during but, the summer. But like this morning, cold as fuck. But like come like three thirty, four thirty if if you ever went outside, it's like fucking sixty god blessing degrees outside, dog. It fucking it's too it's too much for fucking Texas for me. Our weather changes ass. Yeah, They'd be playing with the weather machine. People say global warming's not real, but Thanks. I don't know. Thanks, Byron. <laughs> <laughs> no, uh, fuck, man. Um, dude, I've been wanting to fucking going back to what I said in the beginning. I've been wanting to do this podcast so long, but you know what? I've been fucking doing too much. What? I guess. I guess before we wrap this up, I saw you. You. You want to. You want to play Elden Ring. Oh man, yeah. I uh, Dorian bought it and we game share, so um it's on my it's on my PS4 right now. I opened it up I actually opened the app yesterday, but I got to the loading screen that I didn't play. I never I never hit I never hit start. Bro, I'm just like in the process of editing another video uh for like all the footage that I have of Elden Ring so far. Mm-hmm. And like bro, it's just fucking death, 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 death. Is that whole hard that whole look that whole looks kinda that looks kinda different. It's I don't know how to explain it, bro. It's like one of those... So, I don't know if you've seen, like, the hype around it, like, on Twitter, obviously, but, like, like the gaming universe is just, like, labeled that game the best game ever, like, literally l- last week. It's got... No, I'm not shitting you. Like, everyone gave it 10 out of 10. Everyone. That's crazy. And it, and it just came out, and I'm like, there's no fucking way, dude. I mean, I'm as I'm playing it, I understand. But I think the one thing that's kind of hard... Like, for me, with those type of games is because uh, I'm not sure what type of gamer, like, you type that you are. But, like, I like if it's, like, story type or grinder type, you know, because you can do multiplayer in that game. It'll be, you know, just you run around killing shit, right? Yeah. But, like, to have a 10 out of 10, it needs to have, like, every aspect to me. It needs to have, like, good gameplay mechanics, uh, like gripping story which is the only problem that it doesn't have it like for me personally the story isn't gripping like i don't i can't i can't tell you a single fucking character besides my own uh name like like i don't know all the characters names like there's no like one specific person like you don't get a Mm -hmm. good you're just searching for this this fucking elden ring to become the greatest and you're gonna go through a series of boss killings Okay, so that's not like no character development. Mm, no, but that character development is based on you. Like, like meaning like you can build literally like whatever type of character you want. Like, you ever played Skyrim type shit? No, I played uh, Sekiro. Sekiro? Okay. Oh, it's just it's just like Sekiro. I've yeah, never played hard. Sekiro. I'll be honest. <laughs> that was hard. <laughs> I'll that, say that. That that shit looked fucking. That shit looks cool as fuck. But I always re- I remember whenever I had the PlayStation running a lot, I would always get Sekiro and fucking Ghost of Tsushima mixed up. I would always fuck it up. But I remember Sekiro is the one where it's like you, it's like that one. It's you die over and over and over and over again. Is it like that? It's just yeah, hard as fuck. That was hard as fuck. Ghost of, T- Ghost of Tsushima has difficulties. That one doesn't. Sekiro doesn't. <laughs> yeah, I've fucking I. If it's on fucking. It should be on PC. Yeah, it should be. But I I should go back and play it. Because I, I haven't played any of it. But 
If you if you fucked with Sekiro, you'll like fucking Elden Ring because you can basically build your character like Sekiro as well. Yeah, I'm gonna try. I'm gonna try it. I'm um, pretty sure I'm gonna get pissed off and stop playing it. Get my ass hop back on Apex and get shredded. But you see that? Um, uh, you see that tweet where it's like the pre-owned copy of the game yeah. already. <laughs> he's, like, he's like, he's like, you returned. You must have, you must have fought the tree already. Yeah, he's the fucking first boss, and it's not really your first boss, but like, what's great about that game is you can run past like anything you want. Yeah, Some I things heard. you can't. That's and, why. And so the, and. That what makes that tweet funny is like yeah that guy didn't know like you you don't have to fight that first guy that guy probably <laughs> was my, like fuck my this dumb ass bottom. just fuck this game is stupid because I've had some homies that are like the game doesn't work I just keep dying I, I'm done playing it you know and it's <laughs> and it's stupid but no yeah man it's been a fucking big big fucking big gamer boy over here so. All I'd be doing is playing Elden Ring and fucking... I've been playing Dying Light. You play Dying Light? No, I've heard of it, though. The fuck? Is it good? Yeah, it's good as fuck. If you like Apex movement, it's kind of like that. It's, it's crazy. Okay, but... Um, but all you've been grinding is seriously just Apex? Don't tell me you're just an Apex grinder still, dog. No, nah, man. I mean, I play... I just play... I play Apex. I play FIFA. Um... Uh, I mean, as corny and childish as it sounds, I've been playing Yu-Gi-Oh! the past two weeks with Bones oh. and everybody. Yeah, Matt's, <laughs> yeah, Matt's been playing uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! Yeah, but, um, no, yeah, I mean, Apex, FIFA, um, then, like, we'll have the occasional games that'll come out that we'll play, like, a week, week, two weeks straight, and then, I mean, I just, I really, I really only hop on the game to play with, to, like, play with, like, my friends. Other than that, I don't really, I'm not really big. No, no, yeah. Into, like, single players, I guess, or, I play, I play really, I'll play a lot of sports games. I'll say that. But yeah, I you mean, you and Dorian could play Elden Ring together and beat bosses together. So it'd be, it, he'd have to carry me. But yeah, we can definitely. We I definitely have to ask him for that. So that'd be a a driving aspect for me at least to give it a try. You know, but yeah, yeah. I can tell you, I'm not not even near like fucking fifty percent in that bitch, and it's just fucking. It's. Cause I got friends that are already like level eighty in that bitch. Like it, they've they've literally then they, no, bro. I, I be hanging with straight nerds. If you think I'm a nerd, I be hanging with straight nerds, <laughs> dog. So like, but it's they're grinders, dude. They fucking be grinding. I guess it's just like you have some of those games, like cause like obviously do you play Ultimate Team on FIFA. No, that's no. the most toxic shit I've ever I've ever <laughs> experienced. I'm not doing that again. Bro, the last time I played FIFA was 16 or 17, and, like, I just remember it was big ultimate team back in those days, so. Yeah. But, obviously, it doesn't mean shit anymore, which is kind of upsetting. Cause I mean, I used... it's, it's, it's still kind of big. I mean, it's just really, it's really fucking toxic. People just spend money on packs, and then, yeah, playing against 99 Ronaldos and Messis, every, and Mbappes, shout out PSG. But, uh, <laughs> yeah, it's just the same shit, really. Yeah, I guess it, like, yeah, people do, because I know people that buy accounts, you know, mm-hmm. and, and they seriously just have, like, the whole roster set up and everything, and then, you know, as you're sitting there working up to build your team, there's this motherfucker that just comes in out of nowhere with, with a fucking, Smacking that ass. fucking Ronaldo sub, just out of nowhere. Yeah. So, so that's why, I, I can't, I will say this, I can't play any more sports games. It's hard for me to. I don't blame you. It's, it's it's getting to a point where it's like Madden. Madden is like unbearable. But they're taking a break though. It's it's sports games and some shooters like like the Call of Duties and shit like that. You know, it's mm-hmm. it's like what we play like, which is fine. Like I was saying, like Apex. Apex is like thankfully, even though I don't play it a lot anymore, it's still one of the greater battle royales in my opinion. Because obviously, people didn't like Battlefield, but I like Battlefield. Did you I, play? I like, I play Battlefield, but I mean, I don't know. I like, I like Apex movements. It's, it's like it's, I don't know. It's, it, it's, it's. They have really good movements. I will say that it's not, it's not clunky. No, it's fluid. It gets, it's really fucking serious. But uh, fuck, man. I, I think we're uh, you know, I think we're fucking rounding up. Really, we we went over the time. Really, I know you said eight o'clock, but. It's almost eight thirty, so we should uh, 
We should fucking. Do you got anything you wanna you wanna say or anything like that? Any, anything you wanna get out there off your chest? You gotta say anything, dog. This is your your moment. <laughs> um, I'll just do a little side little, a little side side little speech for everybody. Um, I just wanna like basically thank all my friends, everybody who supported me, um, everybody from like childhood, my family, everybody in the Dallas scene. Um, thank you guys for supporting me. Um, and yeah, I mean, a lot of people, there's a lot of shit, a lot of people don't talk about. And I just want like y'all to know whoever watches this, um, basically just if things are getting rough, just always like keep a positive mindset. Things will always get better. Well, things, they may not seem like they'll get better, but they'll get better as long as you keep a positive mindset. Um, just know like there's a lot of people that are depressed with you. Um, even if you don't talk about it, a lot of people can still relate to you. Um, so anybody out there is watching, yeah. if you feel alone, you're not alone, text exactly. your friends, they'll, they'll hear you. Exactly. Um, a lot of people don't like showing their emotions because they don't want to be judged. That's so true. they're right. Trust me. They're right there with you. I was one of those people. Um, so oh, sure. if you're feeling alone out there, um, just know you have your friends, reach out to your friends. They'll talk to you. Um, and yeah, that's all I got to say. Most fucking genuine shit, dog, and I appreciate that because <laughs> it's no, on, a, on a real level, let me just let me just say before you go, like, like this guy, like he he do be hitting me in the DMs like randomly, like, like off like, like I'd be just working a shift and like out of nowhere, he'd be like, hey man, just want you to know I appreciate you and you're doing great, you know, keep your head up. It may not seem good now, but like you know, it'll get better just through with time and patience, and so yeah. it's good to have people like him. Shout out Algie Anubis for, oh, for being like one of the greatest, you know, homies to just like, you know, give me that push whenever like I, I never expected it sometimes, you know, especially man. from him, bro, because he, he's a busy man. He's a busy man. Oh, man. I mean, it's just it just goes back to like, I mean, what I always tell myself, like, there's a lot of there's a lot of like negativity and hatred, like in the everyday world. And I oh, mean, we, fuck. Have, we have to, as corny as corny and lame as it sounds, we have to be the change. Like some people like people don't think like the small changes the small like interactions we make with our friends like they'll be like damn maybe i should start doing that more damn like maybe like it's just it, you gotta you, i guess according to the sounds you gotta like be the change that you want to see you can't exactly you, so little interactions gotta be just it costs no money to be a nice person like your friends know you care about them because you never know like like me i was i was really depressed person in the last two years nobody knew but you just gotta let your friends know like you care about them i mean I know a lot of people will say it's soft or like they'll think it's like soft, but I mean that extra like that that extra message to your friend might mean like mean the world and it might make the difference between them being alive and dead. So mm -hmm. that's really why I do that because a lot of people go through a lot of shit they don't talk about. And you'll never know. That's true so, as fuck, bro. I'm, I can't. That's all it is. I I can't thank you enough, man. I guess we'll wrap it up here. Shout out to Nubis. Um, <laughs> I leave all his fucking uh, all his socials in the description down below. Um, yeah, I'm I'm pretty much good. Again, uh, reach out, you know. Uh, thank y'all for watching. Uh, we'll see y'all in the next one. And uh, yeah, peace. All right, deuces.